The title of the piece is called Flatbread Society Seed Archive, Vavilov Collection, Rye, 2014. The piece is part of a larger work um, that's situated in Oslo, Norway, called Flatbread Society, and it's a six-year-long public art project um, where we're growing cultural grains. These are ancient grains that fell out of um, cultivation around the 30s and 40s um, and are now being um, reestablished and grown around the world. Um, and we have been collecting about 16 different varieties and growing them for the last three years. So this is one year's harvest from 2013. The piece is a small bottle from um, the collection in a wooden um, armature and then a handwritten seed catalog card about the story of that particular grain. For me, a Sadaka box is really a material manifestation of generosity. Um, I, I think it's really hard to visualize generosity. It's just something that happens, and I really loved the description of it being spontaneous generosity. So the particular seeds that are in the show are um, seeds that were rescued from the Vavilov Institute in St. Petersburg, Russia. Actually, it was the world's first seed bank and seed archive, and Nikolai Vavilov was a scientist who took it upon himself to visit the world's centers of origin, where there's the most biodiversity on the planet, and collect seeds and grow them and save them for future generations. And during the siege of Leningrad, um, he was put in prison um, because his uh, philosophical ideas about science were counter to the states. Um, and while he was in prison, you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people were starving. And his 12 scientists were in the Vavilov Institute saving and protecting and kept cataloging the seeds. And they felt so obligated to protect these seeds that they didn't eat them and they, pr they protected the seeds from the starving masses and were found dead when the Allied troops came and they were surrounded by seeds and they had stuffed seeds in their pocket and packed seeds away to keep these seeds for future generations. So for me, that story also relates to the tzedakah, the idea of this obligation to future generations. So at the moment, Future Farmers is working on a public art project in Oslo, Norway, and it's part of a waterfront redevelopment in the front of Oslo, which is called Bjorvika. The project is called Flatbread Society because um, in Norway, everybody eats flatbread in the morning. When you wake up, you have flatbread. It's like the staple food. But Nor uh, Oslo is one of the most culturally diverse cities in Scandinavia. And just behind the main site is this neighborhood, kind of like the Mission District in Oslo, but it's very culturally diverse, and many stores that you go into are making flatbread, Pakistani, Iranian, Afghani, Tunisian. So we thought um, to try to connect this kind of, you know, heavily economically charged waterfront development um, with a more marginal neighborhood through uh, flatbread to kind of use this as a currency between the cultures. Um, so two summers ago, we did a temporary bakehouse, and we made several different clay ovens, just temporary versions with local clay, and invited people to come and bake and just make what they wanted of the site. So I, I hope the work um, invites people to think about the social and environmental and political impacts of the food they eat every day. Um, I hope that the the actual seed next to the story of that seed will invite people to think about the generous act of those scientists who gave their lives in order for us to continue to eat this grain. Um, I hope that people will think about this long history of makers of our food and tenders of our food um, and think about a possible obligation that we have to take part in keeping that that legacy going, whether it's um, you know, creating better labor um, situations around the production of food, thinking about the way we grow food and its impact on the environment, 
um, and also just cherishing, cherishing that food is a gift and that this land is a gift that we have been given and that we need to continue to give back to it. <laughs>